intro going on? Leave one off. Oh, you're on. <laughs> you're on. That's what, that's what I get. I want yeah, the there music. We go. I had a whole setup. Yeah, right. Limo talk. It's a, hey, limo talk. Look at a setup. Strong Island TV, strongisland.com. It's Graz today. It's 41. Tea time with Teresa. Richie Z, who is officially now back to being a board op. Eat my <laughs> ass, Mickey Delaney. Oh! Gotham, hey. GothamGoldGraz.com. Inns41.com. StrongIslandTV.com. And Tea Time with Teresa. And tomorrow night's Rain the Groan. Hello, Bob. What's up? How are you? I come to you first all the time. <laughs> He's a busy, busy man. Working, working, working Very hard. Very busy. How bad was the traffic? Horrible. It was raining. People don't know how to drive. Thank you. You know, I think Thank what's you. really no, happened now don't. is I think they're just handing out licenses to people in like ba bakery style. What number you got? Yes. yes. 22? Yeah. License. Yes. yes. There you go. You're up. And, and a marble and a marble rye, too. <laughs> And a babka. I was in from East Schnitzel's. Yeah. I was in East Orange. Cinnamon. Babka? I left East Orange at five after five. Guess what time I walked into my house? And if I would have stayed on the path I was going, five I was going over five. to George George Washington Bridge. I had to go all the way around towards the Verrazano and get on a belt and go that way. Take it. Rough. Maybe you should take if, the, if it's in the morning. An it's an hour, right? Yeah, no. Three hours and twenty minutes. I was going to oh say, say two hours. Three hours and twenty minutes, folks. Wow. I'm not kidding you, folks on YouTube. Please uh, share the show. YouTube uh, limo talk, Strong Island TV uh, on Facebook. It's uh, Inns Forty One, Bobby Inzarello, Teresa Farrell. Share the show. Share the show. Uh, uh, Richard Zarelli's not on there. Anthony Grazzi Day. Join us, please. Share the show for us if you can. Please do. Please do. You like the setup? What do you think, Bob? I like it. The traffic was brutal. <laughs> I swear to God. It was. Come on. It's something different, man. We, I we love need, it. We, I like we need it's different. Cool. It's good with shift. It's intimate now. You know what would be nice? If the table rotated the entire show. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Like, on, like on a lazy Susan. Oh what's the name like of What's the theater? Joel. That's What's the theater in uh, Want, in Westbury that, that cir it does the circuit? Oh, Westbury time. Music oh, Fair? Music. Yeah. Well, I still call it the Music Fair, I but do. it's actually called NC y B NYCB Fuck You Live. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it would be really cool if we could do that. Right. Rotation. Well, we got then, it. Then we a have rotating to pay, stage. We have to pay four thousand dollars a month just to, you know for <laughs> yeah, the mechanism that makes us do a that. A rotating stage. That would be a little rough. This yeah. is great. I don't think look that's these, in the budget. Look at, look at these camera angles here. This is oh, so we're cool. Little, we got more well, than we, one angle going listen, on. Listen, I, I got. Wait, Bobby's wait. the best. We are Everybody. now here. See, here's the, here's what I love about. I'm gonna. Sarah's probably gonna cut us off after I say I get, this. Don't break my balls. We started here in April. April. He fucking broke re records, and and I and broke I, records on air. Broke I'll records. say it to him. Broke oh. records for, broke for, records. for a one month growth. Yes, Ooh. included a couple other shows, but us. Right. Fast forward a year later, and I'm saying he's going to me. Ah, oh, you know, you you scared you scared yourself out of 40 or 15 minutes more on your show. It's supposed to be an hour and a half. I go, no, I helped you, and I love this place. I know you do. I do. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, I well, did. I get you 15 minutes. Yeah, you did. You did do that. I uh, I did. You did do that. I know. I don't know. I just think we're the anchor here. And, uh, we are the anchor. <laughs> we're the anchor. We're the anchor. And, we're the anchor. If you took what we anchor. do and how I share the show, oh God! compared to every other show on here and throughout Long Island, I watch all the podcasts. Yes. I think how I share the show is done very well. Yes. I think Steve the Cop saturates it all over. Like we do, I do 150, Bobby. He does 400, 375. But he's all. Into I don't his... even know who Steve the Cop is. Steve Marinello, right? Yes. Yeah, Steve yeah, he's, the cop. He, he's got a he's show retired, here. Retired. Yeah, he's a retired cop, oh, but he right. likes. He's into entertainment and he's good at it. I think Asta does a good job. Asta, uh, she followed me. She's in all the groups that I was in, mm -hmm. so she's mm -hmm. doing a good job with it. Mm -hmm. Savelle, is Cindy Savelle still here? No. no, huh? She's gone. Yes, I didn't know that. Oh, all right. You're still here, right? Yes, I am. Who's who's your guest this week? Tomorrow I'm having Carol um oh. Sylvan okay. from Mystique, who sang Push, Push in the Bush. Push, push in the oh, bush. Oh, that's right. You know I want to get that. Down. That was Mystique. That was the 70s. Can we get that, that live? Pulled up? Can we get that 19, live? I think it was 1978, yeah. hmm, if I'm not mistaken. 1978. Hey, are you ready to? Right. Yeah. 
Let's you know what? Turn push, back the clock. That's right. We, we seem to have a lot of geriatrics that listen to us. You know? <laughs> I wonder what she was talking about. I'm kidding, everybody. Well, um, I, my mother hated that song, and I was like, "Ma, someone pushed like, somebody somebody's in, a bush. in the bushes." Yeah, yeah. Is that what someone it was? just pushed somebody in a bush, ma. Because she's like, That's "I hate that song. I don't like that song." Well, Bruno Capola is still on. Bruno, she had a Hi, show Bruno. for me. All right, Ann Rothney always does. Hello, Ann. How are you, Chris Smith? How's Taz doing, Chris Smith? Tell, hey, everybody. All right, said hello. Good evening, Bruno. Bruno's the best. Yeah, three hours and twenty minutes, dude. It's it's like it's it's annoying, isn't it? It takes you. It, how long did it take you from your house just now? With the, forty minutes. I was oh, going, but that's you know, that's it. Normally takes like twenty. Well, but like you said, there's a little water on the road, and no one knows how to drive. They can't. They can't do it. It's no. ridiculous. Well, I'm gonna make you night tonight. There's no. There might not be a ten at ten tonight. At least by phone call. We might have a live ten at ten tonight. Are you okay with that? You know, I'm in. I'm in the uh, the uh, who gives a shit uh, category <laughs> right now. You know, really. So, uh, I get it from people. Uh, Is Bobby all right with you? I get. I go. Yeah, it's I fine. Mean, whatever it's, you want to do. I mean, what do I? I ten at ten, forty two at eleven. I don't. Forty two at eleven. What you, what eleven at eleven. Nine at nine. I you like know, my ten at eight ten. At eight. I had. Uh, I had the uh, great opportunity to do Billy Joel concert. Yes, you did. Tuesday. Okay. Nice. Wow. Excellent show. And what um, well, is isn't it? And then I, mean, I got the flu. You, you did. The flu? So I had the flu for a few days. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so I missed doing the Ranger game last night because oh, I wasn't feeling God. good. Oh. I was supposed to do the Ranger game last night. Does that mean they it. lost? They I won. Didn't... No, they no, won. They won. Oh, right. The big games tomorrow night. And I, mi I missed doing the other. Uh, there was another Island. No, was there another Island game at home? No. No, not that I know. Yes, of. the Islanders played Carolina. At two, home? They, when? No. Uh, what was yesterday? They lost. Oh, no, I know what uh, I missed. They lost the other Some night. Korean yeah. rapper named Suga. Who? What? Suga. Suga? Suga. Yeah. Yeah, I miss doing that Sugar. show. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. I'm just going to turn to you each time. I, guess, I know. Can you find the, uh, the song that's push, going for push, yeah, push, push in the bush? And then I find it. I can't find it a lot. All right, so then find Suga. 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 Never heard of it. I think he's like the male version. How do you spell that? The male version of Yoko Ono. I don't know. No. S G G A. You ever hear that thing she does? Oh yeah. Thank you, my eardrums. Thank you. I know. Well, I can scream pretty good. Yoko Ono. I just heard that. You're a really good screamer. You heard it through the phone too, about 15 minutes before that. Did you hear me? I had you on speaker, yeah, and then I turned you off speaker. The we had a we had an entire. No, I said I wasn't going to bring it up. No, 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 no. I'm not bringing it up. It's just I we had an entire. That was a good scream. What people don't understand is, um, you like I can be mad, boiling mad on the dot on the spot right. and on the dot change it to i don't give a shit right exactly is this sugar it's what a live it? session by sugar at coachella here <laughs> this is what you listen to the other. this, this can't is what that. i was supposed to do oh, and I oh okay this so you got out of that so you, didn't you didn't miss much i don't know if i have the right audience. right that's it oh. is that's that it? korean guy is i don't he, know it's hard to he, tell it's cutting like three people on the Jam in the yeah, van, so Cuddy. Yeah, they're Orient. Cuddy Flam. No, it's S U G A. S U G A. S U G A. S U G A. Sugar. This is a pretty good song. Sugar. Yeah, this sucks, but it's still like <laughs> it's he's worth. You he's must hate the all my music that I put on here. You Terrible. Hate, so horrible. you know, Billy Joel's going to be doing his 100th show about a year from now. In September. No, September. September. It's not in September. Yes, yes it, it is. is. They it just is. they just it sold is. Sugar because they announced it, and it's my they're birthday month. It. They're announcing it on the radio. She's right. I Bob, know I'm right. They announced it. Yes. What part are you not it's understanding? It's his 100th show, and it's my birthday. If you listen month. to FAM. Oh, it makes sense, because he's up to like 95 now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, 100. Sugar Boom shows. Boom? I really would like to be there for my birthday. It would be nice. Well, everything sells out so fast. You can't if get you your get us, If he gives you some numbers for the summer, you and I could walk around Farmingdale and maybe get a big sponsor to put the name maybe the library cafe something or the farming well you know listen the farmingdale green dogs yes. or the valley stream hawks I need, I need gonna, yeah i know that i, I know that I but a... it's gonna cost a lot of money because it should be on every show right that's what i told them well that's let thing. somebody buy well the problem is you have five studios now you have a yeah but you see if you yeah, advertise that's five different... if anyone advertises on my show yes. they get a 30 second commercial that's shown three times in the hour 
Yeah, but it's not- Stu Stu Studio. <laughs> You know, I'll never, I'll never forget. Here, I'll, here, I'll, here we go. He's had enough. He's I, I, like, all right, I, I, let me take over for a little bit. Shut we're up. We're going to call this from now on Stu Stu Studio. Stu Stu Studio. Uh, but you know, it's funny. I was at, um, a, you ever heard of the band Musical Box? They do, um, yes. yeah. they do, I they do exact replicas of Genesis music, yes. like from the Foxtrot days yeah. and Lamb Lies Down on Broadway days, Peter Gabriel, yeah. and then they move into Phil Collins. Right. And I'm sitting at the show and, um, they're getting ready to play the woman up and I said, woman up the instruments and shit. And I yelled out across the whole oh, no. crowd at Westbury music fair. I was like, Susudio. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, ah, it's not laughing. <laughs> so I was like, Oh my God, I thought I was going to get thrown out of there, but they all laughed. So it was good. But anyway, that's my story. That's funny. <laughs> So let's all look at our phones. Okay. I want to share the show. The show. I want to get people to it's, it's, it's great when you say something and everybody's just looking at their phones. <laughs> I heard you. Uh, that's is, good. I'm glad it didn't fall on deaf ears. I shared it. Okay? The show is shared. I don't want to hear you say share my show. You know what? I don't look at it my whole time I'm here. Your phone. My phone. I know. That's not true. You were looking. You helped us. You help us out every once in a while. He's in the moment. When I ask He's you, you're in the moment. Us. You've helped us. You want to be in the moment. You have helped us. I've been in the moment before. Um, but the thing is, I really am uh, looking at the Yankees right now. Are looking you? at that, yeah. and they're fifteen and fourteen, and they just lost fifteen to two today. Ooh, and uh, and uh, N- Nesta the well, as John Sterling once called him, Nesta the molester, which seven I don't runs. Think, oh I don't God. think he liked. So they call him what? I don't uh, think so. Yeah, Nasty Nestor, whatever they want to call him. He uh, got shelled today. Mm. Yeah. And, the only pitcher Pretty they badly. got going out on the mound now that's throwing them good games is is Gary Cole. But he's their ace. Uh, well, I know that. That's like saying he's Santa the Claus best. Well, he's the best Christmas. pitcher in baseball right but, now. Yeah, but the point is, and then Jacob Degrom pitched against him the other night. He pitched two innings, two three innings, and he got hurt, and he's out fifteen days now. Really? So yeah, he's out. Yeah, you didn't he, know that? Wait, wow. this is Degrom. Degrom. Oh Jacob yes, DeGrom. he pitched, four, he pitched today, yeah. four innings. He did not pitch four innings. He didn't make it to four innings. He got to the fourth. And he got an out or two in the fourth. And then he's like, I, I, this hurts. This hurts. I, I didn't get enough spring training. Aren't you glad we don't have him now? I'm months? kind of, but kind of. I love Jacob DeGrom. I really do. My wrist is very upset. I'm very it's tight. He's going it's down as one of the greatest pitches for the Mets, don't you think? Well, that's, that's not hard to do. <laughs> you got Siva. <laughs> Gooden. Who hmm. else? Kuzman. Kuzman. What, what have we really got? For a long period of time. I'll Ed Cranepool. Eddie Cranepool. Ed Cranepool. I love that when somebody brings right, up so you know name. what? The Mets have never had really great players. I, I just, you know, they had a few. Hernandez I thought was great. Piazza was great. Um, yeah. Gooden. Gooden was great for that period yeah, of time where he was, Gooden. you know. I said Gooden originally. He did. Um, and, uh, and Strawberry was great for his period of time. True. I mean, 250 hitter, but still a great impact player. Other than that, they really... Move on. That Mookie. Mookie that was, was a, Mookie. Mo Fu. Mookie was a good Mo player. Food. I like Steve Summers just get on the middle of the night. He goes, and I'm watching the Mets. And up to the plate comes this huge, huge person. And I'm like, what's his name? And they're like, it's Mo Food. Mo I, liked, food. I liked Mookie. Mookie was a good Mookie's player. Mookie's very famous. Oh, he was that was very good. You know, but Mookie, Mookie, was go, great. Mookie goes down with like players that were really, really good. Cleon Jones. That what about, um, right. uh, what's his uh, name? Right here, Bobby, uh, from uh, Tim Boyle on uh, 2021 on Rising Apple. Mets top uh, 15 best starting pitchers all time in franchise history. Number 15, Noah Syndergaard. Oh. That's pathetic that he's on that list right wow. away. <laughs> because what? How many games does he win for the Mets? What about Hojo? Hojo was he's bad. not a he's not a pitcher. Oh, you only number about fourteen. Pitchers? Brett Sorry. Saberhagen. Bam, out, out. Number thirteen. No, Saberhagen. Bob Ojeda. Not bad choice. I would pick him fifteen. He's right. You would Ron pick- Darling would be next. Ron was good. Ron Darling, there number twelve. Mm. There you go. I'll go. Look. David Cohn Hold belongs on, on his on this list. I want to see. I know you listen. This is where you're at your go, best. Go, go, go. Number give, 11, give. Rick Reed. He just lost all credibility. Mm. All credibility. Yeah, he, as a matter of fact, that's... I don't even think Brett Saberhagen belongs on the list because he didn't do much with the Mets. Neither did Frank Viola. But if you put Rick Reed on your list before Brett Saberhagen, 
That fucking guy did nothing. Number 10, Johan Santana. No. All right. You don't agree. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach well, what out. Did he to... give you one season? He gave me a no, he gave me a no hitter that was tainted. He gave you he gave you a no hitter. And it's a no hitter. I mean it's all there is. It, it was number no-hitter. nine, David Cohn. There you go. He belongs on that list. There you go. He belongs David number Cohn. four, five. Number eight, Sint Fernandez. He belongs there. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Look, we have obvious number seven, R. A. Dickey. Not complaining about that choice. Yeah. Number six. I would put him like eleven. Put, number yeah. six, John Matlack. No. Where's John Matlack ever really done anything great? With Number that? five, Al Leiter. I like that. Al, yeah, Al Leiter was Al a Leiter. very good Met. Yes. Absolutely. Number four, Jerry Kuzman. Okay. Yeah. He was a passionate Met, Al Leiter. Number three, Doc Met, Gooden. Yeah. Three? Yep. Wow. Number two, Jacob deGrom. And number one, of course, in 41, Tom Siva. I would have to put yeah, deGrom Tom three. Siva. Yeah. Because mm. the good is still number two. Well, yeah. I'll reach out to Tim Doyle and tell him that you disagree with his list. I want him to take off okay. Rick Reed and maybe get a replacement player to take his place on the list, if you understand that joke. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want <clears throat> Brett Saberhagen. How do you put Brett Saberhagen on there and not Frank Viola? And neither one of them belongs, really. Who's he missing besides Frank Viola? Is that it? Hmm. God, I like Sid Fernandez being on that list because people forget about how good he was. He was yeah. really, really good. Yeah, uh, he was a solid. He, he without the without him, they don't win the '86 World Series. I agree. And without him, they don't contend for year after year for all those seasons. From up until '84, late, '85, '86, '87, '88. 86, 87, 87, he was there. '88. He was part, a big part of '88. When in '88 they won 100 games. I mean, they uh, that guy was a huge part of it. Why? You know, what kills me. Uh, why do they get rid of these guys? Mm. Sid Fernandez, Roger McDowell, Lenny Dykstra. I mean, all these guys, they've always gotten rid of their players that could have been all-time Mets. Yeah. You know, and they just never gave them the opportunity to become that. They yeah, don't let them marinate the they... long enough. You know what I mean? Marinate. Like, why is that? But the Yankees, are, yeah, they'll keep their guys for 15 years. Oh, look at Aaron Hicks. Yeah, that, but that's just terrible. He's going to be a player one <laughs> No day. kidding. Look at Gary Sanchez. And these He's are not hey, Aaron Hicks is going to be a player one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, and these are recent. You know, the, I'm not talking ball. about ancient He's history. Been dropping He's dropping fly balls him. every week. Oh my! He needs God. a new mitt. God, He's We're going to send him a new mitt or some some of that oil. Just, Speaking about mitt, glove oil, just did you awful. get your son that mitt yet? He's I awful. did not, but I bought him the bat. You did. I did. I bought him the bat, oh. and it only cost me two twenty nine. I bought him the bat. Okay. Bought him the bat. Yeah. You said, listen, can I get a better deal on that bat? I heard you got him the. You got him the De Marini. Uh, so you got him the bat. The bangers, the the good one. I got him a good. Yeah. One. How'd you get it uh, cheap? I I had a I had a coupon and they were had a one day sale and I caught it at the right time. That's what nice. you gotta do. See. Good for you. Michael told me he got it today. Yeah, nice. he's real happy about that. Good. He was. was like, thanks, thank, thank Bobby. He was fighting for me. I'm like, yeah. Aww. <laughs> you guys look are... at that. <laughs> you fight. You're get in the there bat. You said the kid. Yeah, 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 you said get the get the freaking bat. <laughs> look. If a kid thinks he's going to hit better with a bat, he's going to hit better with the bat. That's it. That's it. You got a bat. It's all mental. You, just, you know, 90% of hitting is half mental. It's true. As Yogi Berra said. <laughs> it is true. As the Yogiism. Yep. <laughs> but the point is, if you have confidence with something and you feel good about using it and you feel like you're better with it, it's like then a, you, it's like a good therefore pu- you are. It's like mm. a good push-up bra for me. You know what I mean? Good push up. Right? I have to tell you, That's you are looking gotcha. young. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. You've got a glow to you. I do. You, you, I'm you, you're, you've, you've, from what you I are, know I'm not pregnant. From I, where I you are, this. from so. where you are four years ago when we first, five years ago, for, to where you are now. Really? You look. F- you came on this show. You were a fucking train wreck. <laughs> Now you look you look semi presentable. I, I was I was gonna say I mean say, how, somebody, do somebody, somebody, say, how, how do you, know you know fucking say how do you fucking I swear to God I say to myself, what is oh this trailer tra- trailer park no, trailer? I love how aggressive I mean, to me. Your nose looks so yeah. much smaller. Yeah, now. but yeah, you're your doing nose something looks so much you're doing different. it to accentuate it where it's not not only have you lost weight in your face, but your nose, nose too. Is, <laughs> your nose shrunk. I, my nose didn't shrink though. You look different. Oh. This look is nice with the with the I'm telling giving you compliments. Oh, thank you. Five years you ago, should be happy. Yeah. So I'm looking. I'm looking younger as yes. I'm aging. Yes. Yes. I That's think good. that. I think he's. He looks the same because I look back. I look terrible. No. He I looks think the all, same. All of us look. Nah, good. I look the same. the same. Yeah. You, you look the same. Yeah. 
I think um, I'm a little fat. You look fantastic, and I think I'm real happy. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm, you I'm guys gl want me back. You are suspended. You almost got suspended because you didn't say a fucking word about us last week. Well, I on wanna, your I'll apologize. Yeah. right now. Oh yeah. boy, publicly, yeah. and it won't happen again. Yeah, man, you're part of. Uh, no, but sometimes uh, Sunday I night, I sat with the guys. I let my hair down. My nose looks smaller. I look great. <laughs> By the way, Brayden Negron from Bat Boy, how are you? Well, oh, hold on. Stop. Hey, Brayden Negron, who's coming? So who's Carol Silver? And who's coming you. on next week? Do you know? Yes, I do. All right, well, I don't know. I'm oh my God! I'm promo and tea time with Teresa. Oh my I'll God! I'll tell you next Sunday. Give me a hint. Is athlete? He is an actor. He was on The Wire. Oh, you're getting some. Holy cow! Are you at least listen when they get off the show? Do you at least turn to them and go, "Here's yeah, my resume." I'm really good. I could I could show my boobs. No, I, I don't I, do I said that. From where I am five years ago to where I am now. I don't do that. No. Have you gotten any leads from any of these people that you always have on your show? I I actually. I'm um, gonna go on my phone while you guys talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I think. Uh, I think. Such a jerk. I had, I'm trying to share the show to everybody. I did. I did audition. I'm talk to my I did audition. I think the Bruins someone. were just eliminated. By the yeah, way, I did audition yeah, I for Larry Durr. Let's go. And I'm part of his uh, Bruno Coppola. Not you happy. Need to get to, you, yeah, Bruno Coppola is Bruno not, Coppola, is not, who is tuned in right tonight. What, Bruno, Florida Panthers. Sorry. Florida Panthers won four to three in overtime. In overtime. Oh. Now we're gonna shift oh. right quickly. Oh, Bruno, that's quickly. a stinger. The Boston, Boston that's a record the ever. Boston the Bruins. No, no, no. Continue the story. Yeah. No, forget. It. Oh my God. The Boston Bruins are the best team. The in Bruins hockey. winning in overtime made your nose smaller. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. And uh -huh. it made you lose 10 pounds, too. The Bruins had the best record in hockey ever for ever. regular season. 135 points. Yeah. Yep. The best. And, and now everybody during the season saying, oh, wait till they get to the playoffs. Wait till they get to the playoffs. They played the Florida Panthers, who was the eighth who seed. Who squeaked in. Who squeaked right. in. And they just lost they just four lost. games to three. And. Advanced. And not only that, they're up, they so up three wait, games so to one. one. So now, and they lost three in a row. Now, what do you do? Now, hold on. Time out. What do you do? And what do you do? Do you fire the coach? You can't get rid of the players. He got you to all those. He didn't get you anywhere. I actually would relocate the team. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to get in front of my fans anymore. Yeah. No. That's pathetic. Yeah, because they're gonna uh, get the ripped. bottom line they're is they're gonna get killed. Yes, I would want to fire my coach, but you, how do you blame? How do you blame the coach? Because it's never, it's never, it's always the coach. Can't fire how many years has he been there? I don't know. I don't either. But uh, the point is, Rich, I'm working on it. <laughs> I really, I really think that the hockey playoffs, basketball playoffs, and now what they've done to baseball. They're allowing too many fringe teams into the fucking playoffs where a great team like the Boston Bruins, who had a phenomenal season and kicked ass all year long, all right. are out of the playoffs. And the team that just finished it with a, basically a 500 and, record and snuck in on the last day, then got in over the Penguins yeah. with one final win on the, uh, on the last day. I just have to interject and tell you now. what pisses me uh, off about hockey. What? Jim Montgomery. What pisses me off about Not hockey is when <laughs> as soon as they throw down their gloves yeah. and they think it's now a boxing ring. OK, OK, it makes me freaking crazy because you have. Why? Because Why? you have young kids that are watching. Yeah, but you know what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. on. I was it's a young kid watching. And it's not good sports. It only happens. For God's sakes. It only happens once a Spoken game. Spoken like a true female, female. non-sports fan. That's no, what I like hockey. But why do they? Why do you have oh to? Oh my like god, that was so girly. It's part of the but game. Why do they have no, to fight? But it shouldn't be part of the game. I'm most not, women I, I, love it. I didn't tune I'll in. I'll be honest. Watch, most women, I think, love it. I didn't tune in to watch boxing. I tuned in to watch and put a freaking puck but see, in. John Alfieri oh, tunes in only yeah. to watch the fights. fights. Yeah. We had a John Alfieri. John oh, Alfieri. I will oh. never forget. He used to come into the bar and bring me tapes because I had a little tape machine Who's underneath. This? And he used to play like two hours worth of NHL hockey fights. Oh, no. There's another yeah. person not talking to me. Did he really? I guess who his favorite, who's his favorite uh, fighter of all? Probert. There you go. Yeah. Bob Probert. Bob he Probert. loved he loved Bob, Bob Probert. Probert. Okay. It's part of the game. Why? It doesn't have because it's just a because if you're losing two nothing, everybody's banging into each yeah, other. Yeah, everybody's banging the sticks. If you see the sticks, you have to watch the whole game. Listen, they I nudge do. each other on the ribs. I nudge, do. Okay. They hit each other on okay. the ribs. So if we're losing two it's nothing, it's a very contact game. I get it. Uh, hello, I'm explaining it Trying to you. To explain yeah. why. It's game seven. Yes. I'm losing two nothing. Yes. I'm sending out my enforcer to it's beat the surprising. shit out of somebody on that ice. The other coach is going to see that. He's going to throw 
his enforcer on there, and they're both going to beat the crap out of each other. And whoever wins gets their stick knocked on the thing a little bit more, and it, it gives them a little bit juice. Yeah, but don't they end up in the penalty box? Yes. Yeah. Why are you talking like you got? Because so, I got my, my lozenger. But what, uh, so, put, what, put your don't lozenger they, down. Don't they, don't they go in the penalty yeah, box? Have by and, and that's high I lozenger. Have, I got some suppression for lozenger. Bob, my I got for lozenger. It's my weak. Oh, yeah. Oh, balls is getting in the way. Wait, wait, excuse me. You're supposed to take the foil off first? I didn't know that. Oh, Jesus. Bob, it's tea time with Teresa. Hi, uh, welcome. Hi, is that I got, <laughs> welcome to the show. I got lozenges. And, I'm and, chewing it. You would never do that on tea time. No, you'd, you'd only be like, here. here. You'd be like this. Hi, good evening, everyone. We're the lesser babka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bob, would you like a beer, by the way? I no, no beer for me. Would no? you like a cerveza? No. <laughs> but you end up in the penalty box. But that's it shifts the momentum of the game. If you're losing and you need to win. Yes. You try to shift the momentum. Either you pull the goalie or you send the guy out there that fights the best. They're going to send their best guy out and may the best guy win. All right. So now, if I'm right, the Rangers are only one up. No, the Rangers are 3 3. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, the in Rangers. In Jersey. In Jersey. Yes. In the Jersey. Rangers play the Devils. Devils. Winner goes on to play the Carolina Correct. Hurricanes. Correct. So they don't have the home advantage. Boston just lost. The Florida yep. Panthers are now in. Right. Right. Yep. So fucked up because right. when you really come down to it, come on. Tampa how Bay's do you out. Not, how do you not? Look, Tampa Bay's out. Tampa Bay's out. They Tampa lost Bay's last night too. They lost. They lost the last night to oh Toronto on a John Tavares, on a John Tavares overtime winner. Yes, to take the Leafs to the next round. Absolutely. This is bullshit. Yeah. Why? See Why? That? You don't want Bob? this is hockey. That I don't mind. I think that the, I think if you can get into the hockey playoffs, they kill each other from the minute that puck is dropped during those playoffs, unless the team is tanking. Like they think Winnipeg tanked because they don't like the coach. <laughs> Greg it, DeFilippo says, "Are you guys at the Rainforest Cafe?" <laughs> yeah, that's true. Doesn't like it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yes. a good reference. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> um, you know what I mean, Bobby? They kill wait till the giraffe comes up from behind that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we should get a baby giraffe here. For oh him. my god, yeah. that's funny. <laughs> oh my god. No, but the little cheetah. So I don't agree with you because if you get in, you're fighting to try. Well, you don't agree with me on a lot of shit because I'm I'm a person who believes the division winner should only be in the playoffs. Yeah, but it's all money now. Story. I don't care. It's not fair. It's not fair to a team that uh. killed themselves all year. Look what the Rangers did last year. They got 53 wins. Yep. Right. They had like 106 points, whatever the hell, 110 points, whatever the hell it was. Yep. And they got knocked out of the playoffs because they were tired, and by Tampa Bay, uh, of no less. I and. I and they, and, they said, now. and they said to themselves this year, you know what? Uh, no point in winning 53 games really anymore. Let's just try to get to the playoffs, do our thing. No need to be number one. Mm. And we'll just get into the playoffs and play our best. I mean, so far, all right, the Devils are a good team. You can't take that away from them. Mm. No, that kid uh, is good. good that kid is good. He is. He uses that's. It's him in, in in hockey right now. It's Conor McGregor. goalie. It's McGregor, right? What, yeah. What's the Conor, is, is Conor McGregor? Is Conor right? McGregor. Conor yeah. McGregor and Edmonton. And a hot goalie. And and uh, and Hughes on and Devils, the two best hockey players right now. Hughes, who's you were down three to one. Yeah. To the team with the best record ever in the NHL, and they win. Mm-hmm. They Bru win three games. Bruno says he is watching, so you can continue picking on Bruno uh. all night. Bruno, uh, I want to know who you're rooting for now. Are you rooting for? Are you rooting for the Rangers now? Who are you rooting for tomorrow night? <laughs> Devils or the Rangers, Bruno? And I now want to know who your Stanley Cup champion pick is because I'm going to watch it. I don't know if Bruno could type right now. Pick. Before the season him, started, I thought the Rangers were winning the Stanley Cup. I'm still going to stick to that. After the first two games, too, yeah. right? I, I after the first two games, I go. No, but I really did before the season started because I mm. knew they were kind of like laying a little bit low, and they had the most talent on that team because. They have so many guys who could put the puck in the net. Look at the Islander team. You stand there going, who could score on this team? Yeah. Mm. That's the one thing they don't have is like a sniper guy that could just score. But that place was packed. That, that's but the one. That, that's what they need. They go, yeah, they're going there. Yeah, they're going there. Of course, when yeah. everybody team ha has a team in the playoffs, they're going to fill it up. The Garden is filled up pretty much no matter who's playing or what's, what they're doing. Like the Knicks are always packed. The Knicks are always sold right. out. Um, but if you're not going to get that. Today. You're not going to get that in a net game. It's they a different vibe, today. Huh? Today. What? They lost to the Heat today, yeah. game one. Yeah. I hope they lose. <laughs> what? Why? I hate the Knicks. Why? What, 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 what fan do you like? Do you like basketball? Uh, Who do you like? I like, like them the when Nets, Patrick right? Ewing was I've always, always I like the Nets. I've always loved the Knicks. I, I grew uh, up 
I grew up with the Knicks, and uh, yeah, I, I can't day, say Patrick I have believed in any of these Knicks teams. Probably I'm a big fan years. of the Pelicans. I love the Pelicans. <laughs> I love right. the Pelicans. <laughs> That's I, will, I will root for the Knicks. I definitely will root for the Knicks. All right, I just coming across this. For the home I just have one question. When's Tony Carey, Hollywood producer, coming on? Why does this come up every week? Because uh, I just passed his name. That's oh, you why. passed his name on it. Yeah. Actually, he's right, in. So uh, want me to go through my phone so, list and see if anybody comes up on my. <laughs> he's in the. Uh, he's in Nashville this weekend. Oh, right. nice. Uh, yes. We need him on soon. I got. I want to set up Teresa. Uh, he wants to hook me up with the producer. Yeah, the producer. The producer. The producer. Well, well, the wants producer's... to hook me up with the producer. Yeah, well, he's on a little uh, hiatus right now. Is he? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, he's just doing some freelance stuff and whatever. Season's over. He just reminded me. Yeah. He just reminded me of um my cousin Vinny with Marissa Tomei. And she goes on. My biological clock is ticking. The fact that she was fantastic in that movie, but but I love the one scene where he goes. uh what is the wheel for me? Whatever on the uh, the oh, wheel rotation, the and he goes like this. He goes, "It's identical." He goes, "Ah, identical." <laughs> I love that. Ah, With the hands. I love that. Ah, identical. Then they clap Wait. the hands. Yeah. She was just Marissa ah, Tomei was just identical. on the uh, Carol Burnett special. Carol Burnett turned ninety, and she came out as one of her characters. It was great. Really? Yeah, it was really, really. Carol good. Burnett was on the show, ninety years old. Yes, it was ninety years old. No, oh, it was her birthday show. And everyone was there. Marissa Tomei, Cher, Julie Andrews. All How does she people. look? She looks fantastic for 90. Really? God bless, man. You know, when you say to somebody, you look good for 90, you, what do you look, 80? What the fuck good is that? I mean, look, my, you gotta, you gotta my, look dad's, good. my dad's 88, and he looks like he's in his 60s, so he looks freaking great. Rob Keane says you're, you're absolutely right, Bob. 68 wins, 135 points, and a Bruins loss, get, lose game seven in overtime on home ice. On home ice. Wow. Ooh. Curse, That's curse of the worse. President's Cup. Because they say everybody wins the President's Cup doesn't win the, doesn't win the Stanley Cup. Well, the Except Islanders, for the Rangers in 94. The Islanders, Islanders did this in 79. 78, 79, they had the best record in hockey, and they kicked, their, they kicked themselves all year long trying to get the best record in the league. And they said, what are we doing? They got knocked out. I think they got knocked out by the Rangers that year. What year? The Islanders? 79, uh, 78, 79. Uh, I'm sure it was 78, 79. The Rangers maybe. went to the finals and lost, I think, to Montreal or something. Bruno Capolo, his pick for the Stanley Cup is the Seattle Kraken. The Kraken. Which is in their first Release game. the Kraken. Dude, I, yeah, I like the Kraken. I, I like the Kraken. Kraken's too. a good team. It, you know what? I can root for the Kraken. All right, so maybe we'll, crack how, how do you, not, how do you, you know what? Maybe some, we'll yeah, get I, I, I got to tell you a story about that. The Kraken. We had this guy Charlie uh, Marinas. His son played on my Hawks team, and we were on a trip uh, down in Delaware. Okay, and uh, we're playing this team that was predominantly Spanish, but Charlie's Spanish and he speaks Spanish fluently, and that's mm -hmm. what that's that's his first language, and English is his second language. So, but he's sitting there and watching the game. And every time we got a hit, he would jump up and go, release the Kraken. <laughs> he kept doing it, you know. Oh my and God. I never heard that expression in my life, nor was there a hockey team named the Kraken at right. the time. So, now you're... so this is like five years ago. So I'm saying to everybody's going, what the fuck is what does he that doing? Mean? And he's usually a pretty reserved guy. But when you drink with him, forget about it. He was fucking crazy. But he release the Kraken. And then he sit back down. <laughs> And we're like, holy shit. So now we're winning big. We're like winning 10 to 2. And the other team stands they don't, up. They don't speak any English. Oh I trust God. me. The guy hits a double in the gap. They scored two runs. The whole team stood up, looked right at him, and went, Release the Kraken! <laughs> and he was like, Whoa. <laughs> It was so cool. And then all of a sudden, I go, to, I called him up one day. I was like, Charlie. This is fucked up. There's a new hockey team. The name is called Kraken. the Kraken. I don't fucking believe this. I, I root for them now. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. This is their first year. And yeah. if they oh, win, it's not their first year. It's their year. first year. No, it's not. I think it's their second. Is it second year? I, I guess Bruno didn't like my comments about Boston, I don't think. Uh -oh. Why? Well, he just predicted a devil's win for game seven <laughs> oh, tomorrow night. I think Seattle Kraken. I think this is a, their inaugural <laughs> year. Kraken. I think it was like Vegas. Vegas uh, won in their, in their first year, correct? Uh, <clears throat> Isn't this the second time uh, now in yeah, the last think, four or think, five uh, years? Yeah, the Golden Knights Listen, have been. How solid. would you not want to be? So now in the last five years, yeah, there's teams that have been playing hockey. How long has the first six been playing? Since the uh, 50s? Well, no, oh, wow. the Rangers are 1927. Okay. Woo! So six of them in 1927, I think. The original six. Wow. Is that correct? 
Business Six was formed uh, probably yeah, in the in right. the twenties. Uh, so the Kraken was founded in twenty twenty one. Okay, right. All right, and this is their first trip to the playoffs. Wow. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. So this is their third. So 2021, 22. Two years. This two is years. So the two years. Second, yeah. So this is the second team in the last five years that have became a, an expansion team, and you know gone on to the playoffs. Right. The other one won the Stanley Cup. Vegas yes. won the Stanley Cup in their first year. It was actually an original four teams in 1917. Wow. So imagine Before those guys. The NHL. So you, you get a team, and within five years, yeah. you right. win in the Stanley Cup or making the playoffs. It's not right. Right. Montreal Canadiens. Now, franchise is not right either. I mean, like. The, the Toronto Arenas, which became then the St. Pat's and then the now known Maple Leafs. Right. Ottawa Senators and a second Montreal team, the Wanderers. Huh. Were four they, original they just NHL disappeared. teams. They wandered off. They wandered <laughs> off. They just, they're in Plattsburgh. They still have their skates are still lined up against the boards. They don't know where they went. <laughs> oh, it's gonna wander, they wander over here. Oh, <laughs> we can't win a game. Uh, Did you ever play? Any of you ever play ice hockey? I played ice. Oh, no, I played roller hockey. Roller. Yeah, I played ice hockey with my friends. Not really like an organized ice hockey. Yeah, right, me right, too. Right. Yeah, yeah. No. it's very hard to get ice time for on a, for on a pond on Martling's Pond, really? yeah, Staten Island. No, nope, yes, oh. you would drive there on our bikes with our skates on mm -hmm. our shoulder. You ice hockey? Ice hockey? No, I played roller roller hockey, hockey right? Roller. Yeah. He also yeah. sponsored uh, our roller hockey, roller hockey team. team, Gary Mancini. We used to go down there all the time. Another one who hates you. Go. He oh. doesn't hate me. Uh, You're like, hey, Gary, how you doing? <laughs> Fuck Ross. <laughs> <Hi, laughs> he didn't hey, say. Hey, John Alfieri, how you been? Fuck Ross. Oh, oh, my God. Rosa, how you doing? <laughs> Fuck Ross. All right. Fuck <laughs> if you can count to 10, I'll walk off the. You get me 10, I'll walk off right now. 10 people? Yeah, no, 10, 10 more. Three. You got seven well, I gotta more check, names. I got to check the current list. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, you know right? Uh, maybe your friend there that gave us the top fifteen Met list that uh, will uh, give us Tim top... Doyle. Tim Doyle. Tim Doyle. <laughs> That's four. Yeah. Oh, who, did right. I, who did I piss off recently? <laughs> who? I don't know. John Alvieri. John Fuck Al you, guys. Um. <clears throat> no, really. Oh I, yeah, I, Benny Rizzuti. I pissed him off. Pissed. Yeah. I tell you, okay. No, he was joking. He just said, uh, "Put the LOL, uh, Benny, right. Benny. Benny, you got to put LOL." Got to put joke. the LOL. Yeah. All right, take, Benny. You know I love That's you, but. Do so the LOL. Benny wanted me on a show. Boop, 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 boop. A month in advance, I said, I don't know if I can make it. I'll find out my schedule on a Sunday. Why go. are you looking you at your glasses like because I want to Because I want to remember it. I don't want to look straight mm. in your eyes because I'll forget my, my story. Oh, God. <laughs> so I I find out on Sunday. Tuesday is my busiest day, so I have to decline and not go on. So I share the show to him, and he writes, not interested. I'm like, Really? Are you trying to joke with me right now? Well, he left out the LOL. He left out the LOL. He left it out and you know, I leave out the LOL a lot. But yeah. stuff yeah. gets you, lost you in You do it to me. I do. I, I leave out the LOL. Gets, people go, are you fucking messing? Like, no, I was kidding. They're like, well, you didn't LOL. Well, that's it's an intense thing. text. I don't like that stuff. You know what? It bothered me because I like him a lot. It gets lost in translation. Yes, and I like him a lot. And he's trying hard on the show. And he's, he's got a good show. But I don't. I, I try my best with everybody. I want to be friends with but everybody. But because he left out the LOL, yeah. you I got, got offended. Pissed. I got pissed. Yeah. I wrote I wrote back. All right. Fine. So, no, I, I, Go I, screw yourself. No, I didn't write that. Bring beer. <laughs> That's bring Pat beer. Walsh. You know, no, he I'm brought, saying, that, no, I'm saying the only way people can come in here is they bring beer. Yeah. That's it. Must bring cerveza at the door. If, if you bring any form of alcohol into this studio, yes. you're invited. If you we, want to bring, we are easy people. Oh, we Aren't are. we easy? We are easy. Listen, people. you don't we'll, give me. I bring me nothing. No, I want four shots. The equivalent of four shots. If somebody wants to bring a liquor, a homemade liquor, something like a that, liquor. a liquor, a liquor, a liquor. <laughs> I'm gonna bring me some homemade liquor. <laughs> You know, what the fuck do you got to do to get a service in this place? I swear to God, we've been sitting at this table for 45 minutes already. And nobody's <laughs> over to take a, I mean, I don't even got to have a menu yet. What the fuck? You got nothing. No wonder why. No wonder why the rainforest went out of business. Oh, my no wonder God. Why. This is great. No, I, I like those looks. That's a pretty good look. It does. It looks great. All right. <laughs> oh, by the way, it was 1926. Sorry. What? First year of the NHL. Uh, no, when the original six came together. Well, that's it what was I meant. finally 1926. So you think it's fucked up because they gave five uh, expansion teams Boston out? Boston was 1924. I didn't realize that. They were two years wow. earlier. They 26. played against nobody. 
Right. Well, no, they had, <laughs> they no, just skated the, around the ring. No, the, you had the Wanderers. <laughs> the Wanderers. Another yeah. empty netter. Holy shit. <laughs> These yeah, guys Toronto. are good. <laughs> These guys are good. Haven't lost a game in years. <laughs> Red Wings, Blackhawks, Rangers, right. 126. Okay, so, mm-hmm. so, so what is it now? So it's t- uh, t- 2026 will be 100 years. Right. So it's 97 years. Wow. So in the last five years, one has already won a championship, and yes. another one's going on to the second round, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's big, man. No. Eh. If what, I get you what, Seattle the, Kraken, something Seattle Kraken, will you wear it? Definitely. Crack lacking. Okay. Listen, you don't come into a league, right? Where do you get these fucking players where all of a sudden you can compete and be the top <laughs> team in your division? You come into a fucking league and you could do that? It's, how? it's a draft. They draft players off the other teams. Well, how come these other teams aren't smart enough to keep these fucking Because players? they don't want, they're either getting rid of contracts or getting rid of old guys who have something to prove. And then they put all these old guys together and they end up playing well. Well, the 1962 Mets tried that same routine and they fucking lost 120 games. Because it's baseball. And I think baseball is different than hockey. These guys, these guys like to play. They like to hit. If you're taking these guys and you're telling them, I don't want you no more, you're on the expansion list. I don't like you. Now you just got seven guys no. in there, say, late thir- bye mid, bye. mid-30s. We don't like you anymore. Well, the Islanders, did, the Islanders came into the league in 1972, and they had a team of old-timers <clears throat> and a couple of young players and stuff like that. They got Eddie Westfall. They had Billy Harris. They had, you know. I got to uh, try to get Lindquist on uh, the show. Okay. And, Lindquist. Um, Linquist? Linquist? Yeah. Isn't that his name? Linquist? L- Linguini. Linguist. Uh, he's yeah. telling a story. Henry, Henry Linguini. Lundquist. Go ahead, Bobby. And and they were um and the bottom line is they were fucking horrible. Do you know what the Islanders record was in the first season? I think they won like seven or eight games. They no. were like eight, eight and seventy-two or something like that. They were twelve. Yes. Oh, I was close. Can't be that eight and twelve. They won close. twelve games, yeah. lost sixty, <laughs> and tied well tw- twelve wins is twenty six games. They tied six. Wow. It's like going to an A's game now, right? They're six and twenty. Now are the A's moving to Vegas. They're or gone. What? Six and twenty-one. He's putting them in a minor league sure. stadium next year. They're gone. Did so he say he's going to put he's them? In the put them in a, he's putting them in. He'll probably outdraw really? the team now. Yeah, yeah, he's only. They're only. They're yeah. They're only. Their average. Their average right 3, now is, is about three thousand. Yeah. Wow, mm. that's awful. Well, I mean, well, they closed the upper deck years sad. ago. Right, that was years ago. I to know. Think, I know. Sports talk. You don't you, need it. Yeah. To think that this fucking franchise used to have one of the best. Yeah, dynasty. It was it was Charlie Finley. Charlie right? Finley with Reggie and uh, Sal Bando and uh, Catfish Hunter and Ken Holmes. Campanella, and Camp, uh, right? Campanella, 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 Campanella. Joe Gene Tennis. Yeah, you know they had what a team, you know. And Vita Blue, Blue Moon Odom. I mean, that was the and most Vita Blue. That was the most colorful team. It was the most yeah. exciting team. And all these years later, I mean, they won in what, 1989 or 90? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they haven't done a fucking thing since. No. But that movie was really good when they won 20 in a it row. It just shows you right now, though. But Bill, uh, Moneyball? Yeah. I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, but that it was... put them on the map a little bit. Nobody really knew who the A's were besides what we're talking but about they, now. They, 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 they were nothing. I mean, I don't know. You, I, I look at these teams that, like, you look at the Pirates right now. Winning the twenty and eight. Are you not rooting for them? I'm rooting for them, but I don't believe in them. Why? They're twenty, but they're in first place. They got a right, right, great. Your position. They got a ninety percent. We're not even thirty games into the season. I I I crack up at these people who like the Mets got season almost over. The Braves are two games up. You're like, what the fuck are you? Have you watched this game for twenty years or ten years or five years? What have you been watching? Do you know that this means nothing here in April on April thirtieth? It means nothing where they are right now. Even it means nothing that the Yankees are fifteen and fourteen right yeah, now. Yeah, but Tampa's they go on and they reel off eleven straight wins. I know, but Tampa's twenty one six Tampa, out of eight. Tampa's twenty one and six. So how many games behind are the Yankees right now? Oh, probably like About eight or eight nine. Or nine, right? Oh, yeah. Well, Tampa Bay is on off the Tampa Bay is, and they're not that great either. Oakland right now is five and twenty three. By the way, that's a great start. Ooh, uh, five last and year they twenty three. Last year they were sixty and one hundred two. Nice round numbers. They're gonna beat that. They're gonna beat that. No doubt. I like You're only 5-23. I'd like to see them in their last year in Oakland Tank. beat the Mets' 1962 record of 40 wins and 120 losses. They could, mm. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's hard to get. It's almost That's by accident less, you got to win 50 games. 20 by less accident. losses, yeah. But right now they're on par to win, what, 35? I, another thing I hate is pace. I like when people go, oh, 
Oh, he's on, he just hit his six, 17th home run. He's, he's on his pace to hit 94 home runs this year. You're like, what are you, a fucking idiot? People <laughs> no, he's go, a mathematician. People That's go a, on tears. Yeah, people go on tears and dry spells. You know, you can't just sit here and go, wow, well, he's got, well, he stole right. four bases uh, today. So if you multiply that over the course of a season, he can have 112 he's stolen bases. break Ricky Henderson's like, what record. What the fuck are you talking about? He'll never steal another base. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, he drove in eight runs today. That means he's on a pace to drive in 179 runs. Yeah, like, fuck out of here. You don't know the game. You just don't fucking know the game. I don't think they're going to win. It, isn't it funny how now, like, with the bigger bases, you think about this with, like, Ricky Henderson, like, nobody will ever be considered, even if somebody breaks his record. You're talking three inches. Yeah. It's never going to be considered breaking the record. With less pickoff throws. You can't even do three pickoff throws without the guy going to second automatically. Right. So it's going to be easy as fuck to steal bases for the next exactly. whatever. And they might so still not that. even break his record. They don't even want to try, though, because they don't want to try. But there's the difference. That's why Pittsburgh's right. playing well, because Pittsburgh's playing baseball. They're stealing. They have the most steals out of any of the teams. The three inches is ain't Three inches much. is a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, pussy cat. Just say it. That's <laughs> Teresa's contribution. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Good Thank job, you. Teresa. Very, very much. It's the quality, not the quantity. Mike Bott says hello to us. Chris Smith has it's the, the resident artist. Bruno Capolo. Uh, Pretty soon they're going to put in maximum leads. <laughs> like they're going to have, oh, you're, you led too far. You're out. Isn't there something I'll they're imagine. working on now in the you're Atlantic? Out. They're no. working on something else in the Atlantic League right now, aren't what? they? On something about the D. Uh, if if you're start, oh, if, if the if starting, starting pitcher, pitcher doesn't go five innings, you, you lose, lose the, the DH. DH. Stupid. That's really? fucking retarded. It's that's changing. So See, that's just okay. Why would you have that? Rule? No, I wouldn't. Right. What if no. you, what if the guy's getting hurt? He's got to stay out there five innings. I, I gotta rough it out. Well, who decides to change? And how could Jacob Degrom possibly do that? You want to know who's changing it? And never why? get past the, the not the tw not the eight year olds and to, to 14, 15. It's the eighteen to twenty to thirty. I think he's we've out. I think we, he's out we've for the lost year. that Jacob, baseball. I think so. Baseball has lost that generation. Yeah, yeah. They're like trying Jacob to get it. <laughs> you, am I right? Why? I said eighteen. To, that baseball is because they got no lost. attention span. Yes, correct. The eighteen to twenty eight has no attention span. Yeah. So baseball needed to put a sh a, a, sh a clock. All I like about the whole thing it's, is I like the pitch clock. Yeah, me I too. Do. Okay, yeah. I like. The right. other stuff they should never have no. tinkered with right. because with this speeded up the game the way they needed to speed yes. up the game. There should have always been, I mean, going back at least to 20, 30 years, there should have been an implementing implementing of a clock yeah. along when you knew they had the technology to do it and make it work right. Right. They should have done it. But instead they didn't do it and they waited and waited because we're gonna stick with the uh you know traditional stuff. Leave everything else alone. It would have been fine. You know, you don't yeah. have to change I, clock, bases. I, no, I think the clock. I think the bases. I, if I, anything, I would have just touched the clock and not touch anything else. Throws to first. I don't want. I don't like the extra runner during during. Oh my god! The extra runner. You know, they put an extra runner on for for extra innings. Yeah. They put a runner on second play, base. Well, you could make a modification there. Just play the tenth. Or I, how about this? Regular. End of the game. But that's not baseball. I'm not being. You want to make it so stupid? I'll make it even dumber. End the game. You don't want to have a regular baseball game, so then then just count the team with the be the most hits wins. Come team on, with the most hits. I mean, that's right. what I'm saying. That's how stupid it is. I know. Yeah. yeah. So go back to your original. So, they got the clock. They did a good job. Everything else could go back to normal. You don't really need to. Why do I need a man on second base? You don't. Anything. He didn't even because they want to because they're going to lose the attention span of the eighteen to twenty eight demographic. And I don't. And you probably like it, but I don't like the shootout in hockey. I hate it. I hate it. I think they should have overtime, and if they don't get the they overtime, play a, they should play a twenty-minute overtime. overtime. And yeah, I, one gets one three point. three on three. But I, yeah, two points, <laughs> two points. If you get, if you overtime, if you're tied, you just both get a one and a half points or something like that. That's that's how I would do it. Well, I don't it used like to be win losses and ties. Yeah, people didn't I don't like, like ties. I, you know what the shootout is? Yeah. Okay. All right. I know we're talking a lot of sports tonight. I, I, I could keep up. I, I know you could keep up. I I know because you you know, Doc is one of your top guests, right? Doc Gooden? Doc had, was one of my guests. Who, yeah, and you had, you, would you have uh, the other day, Perry Williams? Perry Williams was great. They were the two professional sports athletes. That Talking to the mic yes. like it's a three, like it's a three inch. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bob, we're, speak up, Mrs. Wiggins. Next week, we have the return of, of, a, of a friend of ours. Really? From, yes, from the old days of Govs Radio. Oh, uh, Charlie Myers would like to call in next Charlie week. Charlie Myers. He'd like to say hello to you. He'd like oh, yeah. to say hello Aww. to you. Is he going to do the 10-10? <laughs> no. Charlie Myers is not doing the 10-10. Uh, 
Uh, he's what? got a brand new baby boy. Yes, he oh, does. congratulations! He's how old now? Uh, I think it's eight, six to eight months. If it's not going to be a year soon, more. I think it's yeah. got to be a year. Yeah, yeah I think it's more. All right. So the we were, we were in Nicolia's. Uh, yeah, we were at Nicolia's. That's right. Yeah. The return of Charlie Myers next she week. gave birth in Nicolia. <laughs> no. right. What are you talking about? We weren't even allowed to walk on the floor. What are you <laughs> fucking talking about? She had her shoes off. Yeah, yeah, the baby was born with no shoes, which is perfect. Oh my god! He liked to talk sports, yeah. and he liked to talk <laughs> some comedy. Oh. That's the return of Charlie Myers. Nice. So, so um, I, I already yelled at well, you about be nice. You know, tea time. That's good. Uh, yeah, the shout out will happen tomorrow. Night. Okay, all right. I'm uh, human. A little shout out. So for Bobby tonight, we're not going to have a no ten at ten. We're gonna we're gonna give it a rest. Why are you giving okay. it because of me? Because I just said stop asking the fucking stupid questions you asked. I know. Well, you know. We could do the so, tenant. Bobby, we, we need can. a spray bottle over here that we're wilting. We're our, wilting. Our, our plants are getting a little dry. I love it. We, we could, I could do Bobby the did a great right, job. So what, what happens if, I, if the ten at ten tonight was our lovely co-host here, Miss Teresa Farrell? Would you? Well, do you it's mind, the, it's do you the mind any of the questions I might ask Teresa, who happens to be our sh on our show and knows almost everything about us? Oh God! It's the ten at ten twenty-two though. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're done. <laughs> We're done at ten twenty two. The two at twenty two. Two some... questions at twenty two. We'd like two to questions. ask a couple of questions. Two right, questions. So the, Do I have to answer them honestly? The, uh, some, uh, yes, ask them uh, honestly. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go uh, quick with you. I'll so, ask, I'll answer so you're them the, honestly. Teresa Farrell. You'll never uh, hear this on tea time. So pay attention, people. Number one, who is your favorite comedian? Oh, Bob anyway. Nelson. Bob Nelson. Oh. Bobby's favorite. That would be my favorite. That's too. Bobby's favorite too. I actually like him very much. He's one. I of, like Artie. Of, I like of, Artie Lang a lot. One too. of many, though. I love Jackie. I Jackie the Joke Man Art Lang. Gotta give him a shout out. Artie I Lang. love, but there are ton, there are a ton of comics out there. But Bob holds a special place in my heart. Okay. Favorite genre of music? Genre. I'm a disco girl, so I gotta say disco. Can you play a live disco music for or something? Disco. Push, push, I was a disco push. girl back yeah. in the day. Push, anything push by in no, the bush. There you go. Anything by, anything by lime. I love lime. 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 Anything by lime. Why was that so because you if you hear it, you you used to dance at uh, Uncle Sam's on the speakers to lime. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Lime was great. Lime was great. Uh, I think I know who you talking about. Lime was the best. They were so good. I, I think I remember them. I don't have I have no memory at all of anything anymore. No. Come on. You should know that already. His, his it's a quick cells. 10 of 10. My brain cells are shot. But you I know, know what? They I are. remember your name. I remember well, his name. Thank God his for name, that. And Bobby Lacerra inside. <laughs> all right. Number number three. Yes. Do you have a favorite hobby? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Great answer. We get some lime Would you like, to know, I'm would you like to know what it is? I want instant. Instant. That's it. You're next to me now. I go like this. Oh Can we have God. that now for up? Can we have Do that now? Remember be next the song? To him, instant replay? Yes. Instant instant replay. replay. Great song. Find oh out. He's got to find okay, a lime. Anyway, lime. Lime. I know. I, you um, know. So you want to know what my. Not difficult. What's your favorite? Oh, uh, I love thrifting. I like thrift shopping. So you go. To different places. I go to different to... places and That's I get, I find bargains. My wife sells the clothes sometimes at these thrift. Well, it places. depends on what I find, but I find some really, really good stuff. Oh, this is there it. it is. That's lime. That's lime. Oh, oh baby, baby, girl. Girl. Keep that up. That's live too, right? Live. That's there live. Go, what's the? All right. How do we know the difference between what's live and what's not? It on says it, it on live there. Or it memorized. says it on there. He has a whole list now where we can't get knocked I off. I love lines. Well, no, but They're I can search lines. But I will tell you what. You, you ever see the movie 54? It was with uh, oh, Michael yeah, Myers. Oh, yeah, about Studio 54? Yeah. Yes. Michael Myers played uh, yes. Steve, whatever the fuck his name was. was, was Mark good. Wahlberg? Was, was Mark good. Wahlberg in that? No. 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 What's the one with Mark Wahlberg? That's the porn You're one. You're talking. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, You're thinking Dirk, of Dirk Diggler. Yeah. Oh, Burt Reynolds was in that. Boogie Nights? Boogie Nights. Yeah. Boogie Nights. So yeah, Burt Reynolds is great in that movie. So have thrifting. in all your times of thrifting, can we see it? Yes. See, now is it is, I'm, I'm, I think this ten of ten's working very well. Yes, it is so far. Out of all your thrifting, yes, have you ever found something that you that is worth a lot of money? Yes, I have. And what have you found? Um, when it came to jewelry, yes. I found um, a ten karat gold blue topaz ring. How blue much did topaz. you buy that blue topaz ten karat ring for? A dollar. <laughs> One dollar. And how much was that? It's worth about 150. Oh, that's a wow. big score. And then I found Man. a um 149 I found a profit. wool coat, a designer wool coat. Okay. Uh, which is about a twelve hundred dollar coat, and I got it for ten. 
Really? Yeah. Wow. So I find some really good stuff sometimes, but it's hit or miss. You know what I mean? Do you have the same like, route that like, you go to thrift stores? Yes. On Tuesdays. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> well, well, hold on, folks. We're, we're going deep in the weeds. tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. On, giving... on Tuesday, you'll find Teresa oh at this place. Savers and Goodwill. Where's um, Savers? Savers is by Dix Hills and Comac area. They give 30% off anybody 55 they and over. Savers by Dix Hills? It's, it's by the Dix Hills area. Comac, yeah. It's really, really nice. 30% off 55 and over. Interesting. It's great. He just, he it really just, is. He looks at. I the, love a bargain. He just goes. Oh. Designer <laughs> jeans, hundred dollar designer jeans for ten bucks, five I bucks. That, that's great. New, love it. New or gently used. I've I found them with the tag on them. So I now, how long you been thrifting? You see, I'm. I'm just... Oh, I've been thrifting a long time. Really? Yeah. Big I love it. My mom wanted me to find the old metal ice cube trays. You know the ones that. Oh my god! Open. Yeah. We used to have those, and I found them for her. She was so happy. Okay. These little things no, in she, life. She just can't pop the just thing anymore. No, she she can't. <laughs> it's easy for remember her to pop. You know, you know what's you know fucked up about those trays? I, I remember my kitchen used to come in the side of my house. I know. He's coming the side of my house, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I knew what I was in for. Right. If that ice tray was by the sink yes. on my side yes. door. Because not filled, if, right? If it exactly. Was, if there was a lot of ice missing, I knew my father was going at it with some scotch. Right? <laughs> you knew. So I'd be like, uh oh. And I'd come in, and sometimes he would say to me, he'd "Go, Abe, get me some ice," you know. And then you'd you'd have to get the ice, yeah, pour it into the thing, and then you have to fill. If you didn't fill oh, the ice tray again it. and put it back, you're, right. in, trouble. you're in fucking trouble, it's man. True. Yeah. So anyway, but you but in order to get the thing to crackle open right, mm -hmm. you had to you run, had to run, run it under water. Yeah. Yep. Had to run it under water. Yeah. And if he heard it spraying Split. all over the place, yeah. cracking. He'd be like, you didn't run it under the water. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's true. Like, Seriously? Is... It's yeah. True. Oh, wow. So true. How, yeah. how many deep was he in on, on uh, for, for those? Like, oh, my God. He would, you know. Three, three drinks, five the, drinks. Did, did you have, like, four. the metal tray that the had, metal like, tray. The, with the big handle? That's exactly what you're talking, talking about. about. Yeah, you had to yank up. That's the tray. That's, yeah. Oh, my God. That's exactly Next what Next question. Oh, tray uh, like this. Yep. It was like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'd fill it with water about that high. Yeah. yeah. The metal pieces went in like dividers, like an egg yes. cart. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right? It yep. went inside. And you close the, the lever, mm -hmm. put it in the freezer. It would freeze up when it was all frozen. And sometimes you get them half frozen. Yeah. And it and wasn't, have that little wasn't water full. In it. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't okay. full. You could shake like, a little water in it. <laughs> but but uh, you'd open it up. And then you have your ice. Mm -hmm. And it would, if your fingers were a little wet, your fucking they fingers would stick to it. To it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice. Filippo would like to know if your clothes smell like mothballs. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. And I wash everything I buy. Hello. T, hi. This is where the show gets a little risque. Oh, oh sure. Bring Most it. of the panel doesn't agree with the questions oh, that I ask, yet I enjoy them very much. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Top or go. bottom, T? What? <laughs> <laughs> talking about now <laughs> wait i have memory doesn't well i'll tell you what if, if you're the boston bruins memory, you prefer a bottom right now memory doesn't serve but you if just I, took if, the bottom um, if you remember what... I'm, I'm gonna say both can i say both yes both all right, all right. Now, here's where we have 10 addendums oh, to the one question. You can pass and we can go on it's fine okay or you can go on to these questions sure you want it you're in I'm in. <sighs> Come on. I got bigger balls than most men. Bring it. Lights on or lights off? Um, Depends on if he's a one bag or a two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Well, a two bag. I wasn't expecting that answer. Put a bag on your head in case the bag on her head breaks. Correct. <laughs> socks on or socks off? Like wax on, wax yeah, off. That's the first thing I think of. It's is... a, if, if it's winter time and I'm cold, I'm like, keep them on. If it's the summer, I, no, you're hot. I don't need them. Threesomes, yay or nay? Nay. I say the fantasy is Emphatic better than the reality. Nay. Quickies, yay or nay? Oh, yay. Ever fake an orgasm? No. Really? Never. Wow. Never. If you right, can't get the job done, you're going to know about it. You're gonna... <laughs> Ever faked an orgasm? Oh, I, I, did I yeah. ask you that question? I, I just I, said. Okay. Just I, answered I, it. Pay right. attention. Morning, noon, or night? All three. Okay. Next brisket question, then we're done. Do you enjoy men, women, or both? Men. Okay. What is your goal in 2023? 
my goal in 2023 is just to continue being a working entertainer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you I just good. would like to keep relevant. <laughs> I just want to keep relevant. I just want to keep entertaining, whether it's acting, comedy, whatever it is. I want to keep Besides doing Tea I'm... Time with Teresa yes. and Limo Talk. Oh, of course. Of course. What is your favorite podcast? Um, I'm going to say Chaz Palmolteri's. Okay. Yep. You're on a desert island. <clears throat> Nobody cares. <laughs> you get to hang out with one person on Limo Talk. Inns? Oh, my God. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is hard. I love, all, I love all of you. Her. Wait, this is like Dorothy trying yeah, to picture between the that. Tin Man and the Scarecrow. And, the, and Come on. I can't <laughs> pick. Fucking stupid I can't question. pick. I'll pick. I'll take all three of you. And Bobby Lacerra. What's your New Year's resolution? What's my New have Year's broken, resolution? Have you broken your New Year's resolution? No, I don't, I don't make resolutions. Okay. Last question. That sounds great. You're at a dinner table. <laughs> yeah. You get to you get, have dinner with somebody. I'd like to have dinner with Jesus, dead or alive. <laughs> dead or alive. Who do you want? Two, um, pe two people. Two people? Yep. I'm picking Elvis and Sinatra. Okay. Thank you, T. I for think I, I honestly believe Sinatra and Elvis would not get along. I, like, I believe like, it too. Frankie They're baby. total opposites. Frankie baby, I think I did my way better than you. He'd I'm be sure like, they did, but I'd yeah. like to hear that as a duet. I want to see Don Rickles and, and, and Frank Sinatra sitting at a dinner table. Now that would be funny. Yeah. That's who well, I want to see. Anybody Don with Rickles. Don Rickles would be funny. Yeah. See, that was painless, people, and I live to tell about it. Yeah, it's not the questions, and I'm not getting them too crazy. No. Yeah, I've, 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 uh, I've uh, calmed them down a little bit. Yeah. There's not one thing that's changed about those questions. No, yes, there was. Yes, yeah. there was, yeah. I don't want to say that. I say the question. Okay, give it to me. Just, oh, I'm reading what he already wrote. Hello, Liz. Hi, Which hand do you? you use? Yeah. I oh, you a... moron. I got, I got no, away from is. that. Well, I got away from that. You I'm a fucking righty. pig. <laughs> well, because you sat. <laughs> this mother. You see, he's the reason why. I get people text That's me. Funny. Boy, he really doesn't like you too much. No hands. Wait, I go, no I go, hands. I go, it's his shtick. No hands. <laughs> no hands. Just there use a pillow. It's no his, hands. I go, it's his shtick. They go, no, he really doesn't like your innocent. I go, no, he doesn't like my questions. <laughs> he doesn't like certain things. Well, because, who said that? Who wrote that? Uh, a couple of people. Have Come written, on, tell uh, me. No. I want names. No, 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 no names. I've gotten in the past. Wow. He I love how like it's you. a couple of people. Wow. He doesn't yeah, like it was this one. It was Greg. No, it's not. It wasn't Greg D. Philip at all. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just. I, I've I've heard it's entertaining, and I've gotten away from the more pornographic pic. It questions. was with me tonight. What, it, it was tame. It was. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with everybody it's, it's else. It's like what I, it's like what I, I told somebody today. I was doing baseball signups today, and uh, I mentioned that. Did I, you do a lot of them? Well, that's part of the story. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> I was asking if you had no, I, I doesn't irrelevant really. Yeah, I've done a lot, but. The thing is, I, I was talking to some parents, and they go, uh, I said, listen, I won't be around tonight. I, I do a radio show. They go, oh, I'd like to tune in. I go, no. Oh, you, no, I, you don't. I go, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Why? I, I, because I wouldn't want them to hear that fucking line of questioning. I just wouldn't. What if they let their kids sit? Maybe, well, we don't, you, maybe you, they don't care about but, fuck or this no, or that. No, what you have but, to say is for adults only. Yeah, it's an, it's adults, an adults only. only That's for a mature audience only. That's, That's why all. we curse. Yeah. You can't. I, I, I'm, I'm on a field with their kids, okay? I know. But I get these kids listening all the time. Michael's Michael's whole team listens. Oh, okay. That's Mike Bott. That's the one of the coaches. They don't. They. they How old are they? It's not like they're they eleven. Don't, it's not like they don't hear the whole it in team. School. Doesn't listen. Not the whole team, but a few kids they'll sit there. Eleven year olds listening to what hand you like. I mean, no, he didn't yeah. ask me that. I didn't ask I did. you that. He did. <laughs> no, but. <Pig>. That... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I was asking you, not her. Yeah, loser. Oh my god. <laughs> you you made it quite. You made it quite obvious. That you didn't like it, and you've made it quite obvious for me to change it. I'm not getting rid of it, but I'm changing. Next it. week, one of you are going to. No, the next question. week I already know who I'm asking. I asked Peaches Rodriguez; she never responded. Well, yes, never mind. Oh, what you, uh, <laughs> you sauce or no sauce <laughs> on the pizza? What do you like? God. Sauce? You like a 12 inch crust or an 18 inch crust? What do you like? I would love to answer those questions. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pizza I love man, who's your favorite comedian? I, I, I love you. I love you all. <laughs> my favorite comedian? Uh, well, I'm not very funny myself, but I, I know my favorite comedian, I think, uh, if I really think about it, would have to be uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because that guy makes me laugh. <laughs> 
my What's God. your favorite genre of music? Music, Pizza Man. Uh, Jimmy Roselli. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. You ever hear Jimmy Roselli? Ah uh, yes, Jimmy Roselli. Jimmy, Roselli. Jimmy Roselli. Going way back. You know it's funny. Uh, Jimmy Roselli live. Jimmy Roselli live. Yeah, live. sure. Let me pull that up. You know what's funny is please hold on one second. Years ago when I had the uh, <laughs> used to have the penny. You put the penny on the thing and you get twenty two cassettes. Yes, you know, right. And you the would Columbia be responsible. You'd yeah. be responsible for. You only have year. to buy another six more at club prices. Club <laughs> prices were like thirty dollars a fucking tape. So you're paying for the fucking things you got already. But the, you 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 decline. You send them back. Yes. But I got one of the first ones I got because I didn't know what to pick. Right. It was one penny. What the fuck? And I'm sitting there. I'm going through it. I go, all right, Boston. I'm going through all these fucking bands. Arrows. Oh, you know, but Led Zeppelin. Oh. And then I saw Jimmy Roselli. Oh, my God. And I mentioned the name. And my father goes, oh, he's great. So I was like, all right, Jimmy Roselli. Oh, so Jimmy. I, I got. I like Jimmy Roselli. Right. So I ended up listening to that. Oh, my God. That you cassette. Yeah. Every fucking night for like a year. And then you have the old time. Didn't you have old time singers on that on that jukebox? Yeah. We used to play some of them all the time. We used to have Sinatra was on there. I think Roselli was on there. What happened correct. to the jukebox? Did you keep it? Elizabeth Batterbeat no. says, my daughter said my grandson think that he is a fucking pain in the ass. And my grandson said, you are a fucking pain in the ass, too. I couldn't believe it. They must be young. And they, <laughs> that's what Elizabeth Batterbeat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, right. kids curse nowadays. My eleven year old doesn't make it okay. I, I, I try to stem it, but my eleven. Oh, I don't. I don't think language should be hidden from anyone. I don't care. You say fuck. You say shit. You say fuck you. Who cares? Little kids. I, I'm not. A, I love when people go. You talk like that in front of. Whenever you're in an argument on a baseball field, you said fuck in front of the kids. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, sl I slipped. Um, I was filming with kids in Limbrook and I slipped. No. I did in front of them. And all the mothers looked at me like, holy crap, I need. I was going to get punished. Yeah. Live on the Ed Sullivan yeah. show. There you go. Smile. I love him. He's great. Listen to those horns. How long ago he passed? Huh? Oh, a long time ago. Before this song. <laughs> Before... <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're such a poor busted Oh, puppy. my God. Oh, my no. God. No, you know what? There was like this song. Irina, Irina mia, Igara, Gisgumara. Oh, you know, I, I used to sing it in school. People would be like, what the fuck are you <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, nice yeah. That's great. That's great. Oh my god. Hello, Michelle. Michelle's hopping on. Hi, Michelle. Hiya. Water? Yeah, water. Agua. 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 Oh my gosh. That was funny. Jimmy Roselli was great. I, I see he's the kind of guy. You know what happened to him though? What happened? He got blackballed by Frank Sinatra. Really? Yes. I didn't know Black that. Blackball. Yeah. He was total. He did not play the game the way that Sinatra wanted him to play it. Really? And Jimmy Roselli was never invited on any shows anymore. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a no good. He's a no good. And Jimmy Roselli was a major talent. Better than like Bobby Darren. I mean, Bobby Darren, you know, he was good, but yeah. It was Jimmy Roselli can really, really sing. A lot of good singers out there. Well, you know what? The fact is, there's a lot of people out there with tons of talent that nobody ever discovers. This is true. And there's a lot of people with no talent that somebody discovers this and gets us a favor for. Because they're 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 everyone wants to be like on social media now. Well, the bottom line about. is, I watch this shit with Miley Cyrus, who I think is talentless, yes. absolutely talentless. Okay. And they listen to her. These girls worship her like she's some sort of fucking goddess. And I think she sucks. And I think she's a pig. I really do. I think she's a disgusting pig. So, bottom line is, you want to worship her? I would rather see somebody. I would rather one of my kids say, "Oh, Taylor Swift is that's a great talent." Right. All right. right. Oh, but that's not, a great talent. Not this pig. My daughters love Taylor Swift. Daughter Taylor Swift is really no, my, good. Yeah, my yeah. Well, and Miley Cyrus, you got to remember too. Her following came really from when she was younger on TV, the Hannah yes. Montana. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's not like she got popular for being a. When she started appearing ball. on stage with a strap on, 
I think that was enough for me. I think what she yeah, wanted. No, I'm saying I think like, she, but her following comes from what she wanted to do on, was she. I think she that. purposely wanted to shock people and get away from that Hannah Montana stereo. Right. Stereotypical character that she played that for so cutesy, long. Rootsy. She just wa- she just did the total opposite of it. Right. She's so she's, she decided to become a disgusting. Pig. I think she just made a big decision to put something out there that it shocked everybody. Well, you know? that that's got to be who she's true to because otherwise she uh, would have just she could have continued on with a with, with a great man. career no Is matter it, what. Yeah. So she women did. women want their daughters to look up to somebody like this. That's what they want. Some do. Fran Gatto says it's crazy that we are at the age of our parents when we thought mm. they are old and, and like their music. That's right. Louis, All right Louis, Fran, thank you for depressing me. Louis, Louis <laughs> Prima, Jerry Valley. True. Jerry, Jerry Valley. How about the Velvet Fog? Oh, How about you, the you know who that is? Mel Torme. Mel Torme. The you know, See, Fran, this is what you get. We're multifaceted. We I can love talk the about the Seattle Kraken. That's it. And then we go over to Frankie Valley That's and it. Sugar. I can ask sugar. bad questions of the 10 at 10, and Bobby could yell at me. That's it. <laughs> Frank got him. You know what? I gotta get. I want to expand it instead of comedians. I want to start expanding it. It's always been a female. It doesn't have to be female. I don't want a male. I don't want a male. What am I gonna ask a male? Uh, fucking top or bottom? I can't ask him those questions. Socks on, socks off. I can, just can't. What are you looking at me like that? I just burped Domino's. Sorry. Oh, God. oh that's good. No, oh so my I, God. I'm actually thinking I was gonna. I fucking. I, I, I called you. Kristen Tinsley tonight. I wanted Kristen on, but yes, she couldn't make it. Yes. Kristen Tinsley and I are, are going to do a show with Richie. Okay. You and Bobby are going to be in the studio. Okay. Me, Richie, and Kristen. Oh, she's going to read you? Are going to a cemetery Ooh, in nice. Bethpage. Cool. And we're going to do a off-site, like, face yeah, t- yeah, FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I, I'm very interested. She says it's very haunted over there. Mm. I would like to watch that. I okay. want to be around it, and I want him to. Re- he's going to come to record. Live at the controls. He's, he's going to be live nice. at the controls. Okay, Where cool. is this? We're going to go by the house. He, she wants to go to the the one, what house? What's the scary one in Suffolk County? The the hills, something hills, Bobby. I don't. I don't Suffolk County. I don't yeah, the haunted. Uh, there's a there's mm-hmm. a. She wants to go to a cemetery or this place in Suffolk County, something hills. I don't. It's very very. I don't um, know. But you for for an occasion we want to go to a cemetery. No, I'm going. No, he's going. I'm going with Kristen Tinsley and and Rich. You and Teresa I'm, are gonna I'm going to be on here. Yeah, yeah, you're going. You're coming. You're with going. Me. You're coming with me. Record. Where am I going? With, I want to see. She. Well, how am I going to record? You'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Are you going to run? Figure it out. I'm very interested in finding. She's very much into that. I, I'd like to be around it. I, I I know you really don't really care, and I I don't want to leave you here alone. No offense to Kristen, but I'm not a believer. All right, and she knows that. She says that. She says I know Bobby don't believe, but I do. And the, I want to. Uh, I want to see it a little bit. I want to be around it. I put the challenge out. Uh, what about maybe a year ago, months ago, whatever it was, for a ghost to come visit me? They have not come. No. Well, you haven't been much of a pleasant person recently. Oh, so they need pleasant. You yeah. have to be open. You have to be happy. You have to be open. To I see. So you have to be willing to accept that it's there. You have to be otherwise, open to it won't spirit. be there. You have to be open to spirit. Yeah. That's you what got to say, Bob. She oh, says there's somebody oh. in here right now, all times, and I believe that. So. She told me that her sister I don't know about goes that. to the same place in Suffolk County, something hills, and every Dick time Hills. she every she sees people, she sees the same person at the end of the tunnel every time. Okay. So Tristan either wants to go it's there. The toll taker. It's not, <laughs> it's not the toll taker. It's, it's, it's the easy not, pass guy. Easy pass. Go ahead. So I, I'm I'm going I'm going with Chris construction work on the LA and Rich. <laughs> you guys will be in studio. Listen, and, listen. Bottom line is this. Mel Torme. Okay. Was oh, that Mel Torme? It's the Velvet Fog. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. So Live at the Crescendo Club. Filippo's right. This is it. This is it. The Battle Row Cemetery in Bethpage across oh. from the golf course. That's okay. where we're Thank That's you, Greg. where we're going. And Ann Rothney said, I would like to see that, Greg. There you go. Yeah. All right, listen. All right. I love when people, like somebody passes away and somebody goes, oh, they're probably up there with, you know, Uncle Richie. They have his, you know, they're singing the old songs and they're smoking cigarettes. I'm like, no, they're not. You think that's what they're gonna fucking do? Go down and do go do with the fucking thing. They're gonna do the exact thing that got them dead. Well, how come they're gonna, people, they're gonna stand want... up there smoking cigarettes and singing songs on the street corner? They, I believe they. You know no what? Way. So what? When somebody but dies, do they go come, to bed and wake up in the morning? How come every time when somebody dies, well, they, they do this perpetually. They always say they see a white light and they always see something coming oh, from boy. above because they're going to heaven. And it's it's a different. I think there's an after afterlife. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm sure there's an afterlife, but I don't think they're gonna be doing the same shit they did here. What do you? Why, why not? Why not? 
I hope my I hope my uncle and my father right now playing cards, looking down at me, saying, "Look at this asshole at fifty-seven cards." When does the game end? I hope it doesn't end. <laughs> when does they just keep playing? Maybe is there a winning hand? <laughs> I, is it like do they have to say good night and go to bed? That's funny. Do they go to bed? Do they go take a shower? Do they have lunch? <laughs> Baseball joke that would work. Perfect. Oh, here we so. go. Oh, right. a baseball oh, joke. Bob Sarah, oh, baseball owner joke. of owner of uh, Strong Island. Go ahead, Bob. Okay, so there's two uh, baseball players yeah. and best friends, and they played baseball their whole life, and they always used to debate if there was baseball in heaven. Yeah. Mm. So ultimately, one of them dies, goes to heaven, of course, and he ends up visiting, comes down and visits his best friend, and he says, "Oh my God," he says. So tell me, is there baseball in heaven? Is there baseball in heaven? He says, "Well, I got good news and bad news." He says, "Yes, there is baseball in heaven. That's the good news. Bad news is you're pitching tonight." It's <laughs> 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 oh, good. Very good, Bob. Nicely yeah, done, Bob good. Lasera. That's the Bob owner of Strong Island TV. And, and if you're, you're in over. heaven, you have to throw a no hitter. Uh, yeah, right. No one can get a hit off you in heaven. Why yeah. are you? How could they? You don't believe that? It, what is you, with the fucking? Look, hat? it looks like Gilligan. What? Hello, okay. Gilligan. Why? Why you don't believe that there's an afterlife? There's nothing. I didn't say that. Did I just say? No, that? he didn't say that. He just says. I just think got to be something better than doing, doing the same, same shit that you did here. But right. why? So what do you, what what do you is think? This what you, you enjoy? Do? If you enjoy, you enjoy coaching know. baseball and talking on limo talk. If you go out there, maybe you're doing <laughs> yeah, limo. The first half, right? <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you might be half right. <laughs> you keep right. coming back. Right, you look, keep look, coming look, back. Look. You know I'm getting right, you popular. Think of, just think it through. I think everything through. I spend a lot of time driving. Go ahead. And I think, and yes. I think of all kinds yes, of shit. You do. And I come to conclusions. I hate when people come up with brief thoughts and they go, oh, that's it. No, it's not it. Think it all the way through. I'm going to go up to heaven Yep. and go coach a team. Yeah. I'm going to coach a team, so I'm going to take a kid out Is who's teams? going to fucking hate me He's... take me for taking him out, or I have only nine kids on the team. <laughs> you probably There's only have... nine kids on the team, it's so I don't have a picture for tomorrow oh God, unless funny. someone dies and tells Bobby Lucera. <laughs> what? You think I'm going to fuck? Are you kidding me? How could you I run a team like it. that? What kind of misery is that? I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to be like, I wake up every morning. I go, another fucking game today. It doesn't even rain here. Can't even fucking get oh a rain out. Oh, my God. Rain, yeah. I enjoy going to the park and just hanging out and staring at leaves. I don't give a shit. When are they giving me that day? I'm telling when you. When are they giving me that listen, day? Listen, I think when you go up to heaven, you're allowed to do anything that you want to do. All right. Okay. If you want to if you want to, you want to fly to the, if you got wings, hopefully you got wings. You want to fly to a restaurant. And you want to eat something. Fly you wanna, to you the restaurant. So I'm going to go eat. We're all Tinkerbell I'm now. a fucking ghost. I'm going to go eat. Yes. You're in a restaurant. It's an afterlife. And who's serving me at this restaurant? The so, afterlife. Uh, dead people from the restaurant. The miserable people a... who hated serving people when they were but alive. That's what they were doing. Are so you still can... taking a shit. I want to know if you can eat whatever you want. So not everyone's gain perpetually any happy. I think so. so. The server is like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and the fucking waiters and the bus boy is. <laughs> so you don't believe that? No. Oh, you're not fucking doing that. Uh, what, what are you doing then? Where is the restaurant? What's, I don't know. what's, what's I heaven? Think, what's heaven in, in I Bobby's think it's a spiritual in, in, in Mr. Miseries? <laughs> no, it's not a misery, it's Mr. Reality. All right. What am I doing? The same shit I did here? No, I'm gonna do something better, something more spiritual, something more heavenly, something more, you know, majestic than to go coach the team with a scorebook? Uh, am I going to have game changer? I, I think he'll do uh, the things that he's you gonna, want he's to do. Is there uh, Wi-Fi? Is the umpire always right? He's going to ride <laughs> naked bareback on a horn. Is yeah, God the umpire? Yeah, you yeah. can see it. The yeah. ultimate yeah. umpire. I can argue with him. He's got right. a, he's is there instant replay? So time out. Is there a pitch clock? Is there video oh. equipment yeah. to right, see the replay? A couple of people. Elizabeth Batterbeat, I'm going to dinner with Anthony Bourdain when I go to hell. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's a good idea. All Patrick right. Walsh says, I was watching hockey. Sorry, I missed most of the show. Fran Gatto said, Jesus Christ, now I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Walsh says, ah, you, about time you got headsets. Oh Bruno Capolo, <laughs> 2 nothing. Seattle Kraken, oh. second period. Release the, the Kraken. <laughs> so what? What's your Bruno Capo also says? Graz, nice effing hat. <laughs> what's my take? What's your take on you die? Hopefully you're going to heaven because you know, you're we, a good woman. You know, uh, we just had this. Your nose, your nose straightened out. We you look just, just the way you look oh right now. I just had this. Ca <laughs> I just had this conversation actually with Kristen because I said my biggest thing. Uh, first of all, a lot of people are afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die. I'm just not. I'm I, petrified. I'm I've so, seen your I'm show. So I know. 
Hell. Oh, so nice. I like hell. It's like Ghost Radio. But I'm my, back to normal. But my thing is, is that. Her show's amazing. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you listen for about three minutes. Oh, is it Rain the Ground for Bad Boy? Is it no. Doc Good? Is it Dave Coat? Oh, no, wait. It's an actor. Fuck this. Click. No. Wait, hold on. I wait the first two minutes. Hi, just want to let you know. Last night I was on Limo Talk. I let my hair down. My boobs look good and everything else. And then she goes in. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. This is my guest, <laughs> Sherry Sherrison. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Sherry Sherrison. Really? I don't know. It's like you, you do a good my job. My thing is, look, I my my job. question is, is that when you die, do you know you're dead? No. I think you look at uh, I think you look down on your soul. Yes, uh, your soul is looking down on you. I think. I that, think if I dropped dead right now, he'd be up there looking well, down and saying, "Where's the next co-host?" No. Well, I just. <laughs> I just. I. I listen. Some people have had out of body experiences, and some people have died and, and shocked and brought back. And I think everyone everyone's experience is different. They always say they see the light, right? I, I think yes. what happens is you go into this moment where you're just dreaming. You're just dreaming. It's like the other night I couldn't sleep, so I put on this calm, babbling brook music. Uh huh. And when I finally fell asleep, I dreamt I was drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, oh my God. Do you know, oh oh my yeah. God. Do you know if turkeys stare into the rain and look up, they could drown? What? what? <laughs> I can't, I'm not what is that? True. So we don't even have to fucking kill them. No. Thanksgiving. They get oh drowned. Oh my God. You just there, put like you just put a picture of a real sexy turkey up there. Yeah. They look up and they're dead. These are like little like little <laughs> do hippies. Like, yeah. did you know? Did, did you, you know that know? So it could happen? So I got the babbling brook going. Right. I conk out. I'm like, oh, I'm very nice and relaxed. <laughs> right. I'm sitting there. I'm dreaming that I'm fucking buried. On, I'm I'm underwater and I can't get to the top. And I'm trying to swim my way to the top. And I'm drowning. Oh my I'm fucking God. drowning. Like freaking right? Ariel. Right? Did you pee? What? Did you pee your pants or the pee? The, pee no, the... that's your dream. <laughs> I had. Uh... <laughs> No. no, usually no. when you usually no. you wake up and wake up. a little warm. so I wake, so I wake up. I'm in this fucking I'm in a frenzy and I'm having a, I'm this nasty sweat going on, and I'm thinking to myself, I heard the water and it made me think of that. Right. And this was supposed to be a relaxing moment. Right. It wasn't. Right. Okay. Right. So I fucking had a like a mini panic attack while I was sleeping, and I'm never fucking putting on the babbling brook again. Oh my god, that's hysterical. All right. <laughs> That sounds like That's a problem. <laughs> no yeah. brook. No brook. Well, there's certain brooks I would like. Yeah. But... Just not that one. <laughs> but anyway. Brook Shields, maybe. Yeah. That's what I meant. What yeah. do you feel in that, the afterlife? Uh, I believe in the afterlife. I believe that um, I do believe you get visited. I've had some things yeah. happen that I just yes. believe in. Yep. That happened to me personally. Mm hmm um hasn't happened for a long time i'll say that i don't think it's like you know like when she says you know somebody's in here in this room now. Do you believe in that i i don't know i, believe I, I don't spirits feel it so i don't believe it i, I believe told you my father-in-law came to came a no. month a month after he passed away in my house well that i that i believe my father-in-law i think uh has come he a just bunch wanted of to times. smack you in the yeah. head one more fucking yeah. time no you no know, he liked you know? me he liked me uh, my mine too he liked and, me uh, he liked and i me. loved him yeah you know, I don't know, like when you go to heaven and you go into restaurants and stuff like that. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. I, I don't, you know, I don't I don't look at it like suddenly that. I'm going to fucking Umberto. I look at it like you I want to eat whatever people. I want, not gain any weight if I go up. There. I, I think you I see want. people and by the way, what but if... I don't think anything is like physical. You touch no you know what I mean. My grandmother believed that you go up and you go up there and you be and you get put into your most perfect body. Probably. Right. What do you mean by yeah. you? So Good for grandma. You're perfect. Whatever you, every bit about you every is perfect. Bit, Meaning okay. all your right. ailments so are gone. Angelic. Yeah. You look your best. Yeah. You right. feel your best yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm just wondering. Uh, this is my question. Is there bedtime? Is there wake is there up time? time? Is there sun? Is there night? Yeah, is there, it's you know, questions. I mean, I think I mean, about if, it if like I'm going, traveling. if I'm going, if my father is really hanging out on my grandfather, my uncle and whatever and they used to like the box and shit and they used to are they doing that all fucking day right, right. are they fucking singing this old gang of mine with jimmy roselli records on in the background <laughs> i mean and then going to bed do you believe or it? do you just go on all day long and non-stop but you, but is it so, perpetual it just never ends what do you I think can't, i can't buy that i come, don't uh, come on you, you see 
Do I run into Whitney Houston and I go, hey, I believe the children <laughs> so are I our future. I didn't believe. <laughs> I, I do. I mean, you know, I, 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 I mean. And if you've never gotten that bathtub, and I'm you'd clear. still be singing. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you and your daughter, how fucking ironic. <laughs> right. Bob, ironic. Bobby Brown. Bobby I, I, Brown. I saw a new edition, Bobby Brown. He fucking fell off the stage. I'd be like, is that what, fucked up? Is she here too? <laughs> yeah, couldn't you smack him? Couldn't you come down and smack him? You got nothing else to do. Right. Oh my God. Yeah, Couldn't we're... you help your daughter pull her out of the tub? Oh. Couldn't you do that? I... This is what I wonder about. You like, so why? How come so you're... they're telling me, oh, he moved so... a quarter across so, the table, right. but you couldn't pull your fucking daughter. All right, so out I have of an answer tub. to this. Kristen Tinsley, who happens to be very much into that and studies it and tries desperately to have answers for people. She's very why, good. Why don't she's you very, ask very, those very, questions to Ovar? Because I don't want to come across to her as offensive. Where I'm, saying but she this. loves you anyway. You know what she said to me today? I love him. I know he doesn't believe. I know he doesn't really care, and but likes, I love him. She likes the challenge. It's like Bobby Lucero said the same thing. She likes the like challenge. Thing. She likes the challenge. Because he heard you yelling, oh, I got it, whatever, before. He goes, I love that man, Mean, meaning you. Bobby's saying it to you. You could get, you know, you have your moments every once in a blue moon. Everyone what do you mean does. I have my moments every Everyone once in a blue moon. Everyone does. I don't know what that means. If you know, you have your moments you every know, once in a blue moon. <laughs> but what is the goal? I mean, is the goal, I mean, the goal is not to convince the man that. He no. has but to, to believe teach him a little bit. But the point in. is, you're going to tell me if I don't believe it, it's taken away from me? No, no. I, but I think that... No, but no. I like to maybe say, you know what? Yeah, let me give me another verse. So what another verse? Is you, come to another verse. you come to the cemetery with me. Me, you, and Kristen Tinsley. Oh, I'll walk all over the cemetery. I don't give a shit. So we'll go. Those people are gone. So they will... All right, but we'll go. And Wait, we'll which cemetery here. is this? Uh, the one across Beth the street. Page? Beth Page. Across the street so, from the golf course. So, bottom line, my father used to say this all the time. He goes, do me a favor. Golf course. Do me a favor. He goes, Why? Oh, that one. I know that one. He used to go to me, do me a favor. When I die, don't ever come visit me in the cemetery. He says, don't waste your fucking time. Because well, a lot of people say, come but you, but see you me do. when I'm alive. Yes, I do. Right? I know you do. Because well, you miss him. But I I, I do. Because uh, you, know, you talk about him all the time. It's just, it's, just uh, um, it's a moment to just reflect without having... I don't feel like he's right there. Okay, so now if I, uh, right. we got to get out of here. It's almost 11 o'clock. Bobby, they cut us off right now. No shot clock. Bob, Bob we, we got like three minutes. Two. Yeah, like two. Did they cut me off or you, you haven't cut us off yet? Do we need a shot oh, clock? He's still there. I guess we. All right. What we is got, he playing? Uh, no, he's trying to. Listen, folks, all, all kidding aside, Come hang out at Strong Island. Is he playing Connect? Thursday nights live bands, yeah. Friday nights. Is he playing Mike. Connect Four over Here there? What beautiful are you doing? Paradise Studios. Paradise Studios. The place is great. He's a he's really nice to us. He likes us. Even he kind of set this he up likes for us. us. He really likes. He kind of set this up for us it in a way. Great. He said, "You know what? From he had a, a podcast, vision. He had, he had a vision. vision. I think I like it. I'm all right. And I, he executed. I I think him and I get to talk to each other. We used to do this at Govs. Oh no. I get to look at you. He I I can nudge him and put on things whenever. At, at, I like it. In I a like minute, it. So I, I like oh, it a lot. All right. Yeah, we'll get used it. to it. It's better than the couch, right? A lot of people tuning in tonight, Graz. The couch. That's the casting. Before you lose out. No, we're not losing out. He didn't shut us off yet, but. You want to put somebody on? You don't put the nana. Put the other one on if you can find a No nana. No nana. Who's the nana? Nana is a no no. Oh, we didn't. We we didn't come up to a conclusion. Yeah, we didn't come to the, another. Uh, Here's the conclusion. I'm going with Kristen Tinsley to a cemetery. You're coming with me. It's me, you, and Kristen Tinsley. Whether you believe it or not, you just come. You hang out. I go to the cemetery. She's gonna yeah. tell you. I'm getting no vibes because he's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um right. I was gonna get all these vibes, but I'm not now. You know what? You here. can hang out in the studio and be like the play by play, and all of us will go with Kristen. Whatever Tinsley. you want to do. I want somebody in studio that we could talk to. Sure. Because I want to I believe that we could change his mind. I believe I'm talking with Al Capone. <laughs> oh my god. Al is here. We've re Rivera Al live. Capone. <laughs> it was syphilis. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Come on. Uh okay. Are you will you do that for me? Uh, go. You'll go. Okay, so you'll go. So you'll hang out in the studio. Sure. We'll go because it's in Whatever Farmingdale. He'll come to the house. Kristen will come to the house, and we'll go. We'll go to the cemetery in the next few weeks and do a reading at the cemetery. Why not? Kristen's gonna come in. That's good. You want to? Right after that, we're gonna have our, we're gonna have our softball yeah, put game. Put something on. I was gonna say. Yeah. Well, actually, f funny about that. Uh, Blind Jim from the. G oh, how's he doing? They want to play us again in <gasps> blind baseball. Wow, we got our asses. Oh, nice. We got our asses beeped. Yeah, we did. Are you uh, interested again? I'm interested. Yeah. Okay, good. I loved it. Yeah, we did have a good time. We, we had a did. really good turnout too. But we got our asses. All right, picked. folks. Before we get out of here, if you could, if you could subscribe on YouTube, it's uh, Strong Island TV or Limo Talk. Are you on YouTube, T? Yeah, through Strong Island. Uh, not, not your own. No. All right, Limo Talk. It's two words. 
or Strong Island TV on I YouTube. always put them together with a capital T. <laughs> is that unri- Is that not right? It's not right. I'm sorry. I've been doing it wrong. No wonder. Uh, no be done, though. On Instagram, limo talk, please, or Gotham Gold Grass. Join us. If you're sitting there, just please subscribe to us. Join us. I put up a lot of pictures of Bobby and Richie and got, play, people have really? been on our party. Yeah, I do. A lot. P- 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 Never seen it. P- p- people that come Me in. Me neither. Pat Walsh has seen it. Pat, up Pat Walsh doing it in tonight. Anne Rothney said she loved tonight's show. Have a great week. Aww, good night, you, everyone. Man. Elizabeth See you tomorrow Matthews, night, Anne. Have a good night, everyone. And Anne Rothney says, oh, no, that's awful. Ends uh, over your almost, you know. Your, Bruno Capolo, Rangers brook. in seven tomorrow night. Oh. Bruno, you don't like listening to the brook. At night now, <laughs> no brook for you. That didn't really no happen. Brook for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> really Who was hanging out with us tonight? Brought up uh, Bruno Capolo, Chris Smith, and Rothney, who you mentioned. Strong Island TV checking in, uh, hopefully sharing the show. Chris Monteleone Ooh. checking in. A paisan, yeah, a fellow paisan. Great deep Filippo, of course. Uh, I just want to bring this up before we go. Do you know what Bruce Springsteen's m- m- grandmother's maiden name is? Di Filippo? Salerno? Zerilli. Zerilli. Get out of here. Get out. Who else? Fran Gatto, right? Uh, Bruce Taz Springsteen is... Aspect. 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 <laughs> Bruce Springsteen is part Italian. Look I never at that. that. I never even realized that. And I'm not a big fan of his music. But his mother... Now you're really... Now you're a fan of his mother. mother's maiden name is Zerilli? Zerilli. Wow. It. Now you are Spelt going... the same way? You are in the will. Imagine. <laughs> I think it's spelled oh Z- Z-I-R-I-L-L-I. All right, Z-I- who, who else? Who else? No, who, no, else? Z-A. who else? Elizabeth Batapede, Michelle Asta, Fran Gatto, Kristen Tinsley, and the ever wonderful beer provider, Pat Walsh. Pat Walsh. Hey, guys. Hi, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Every week, we thank you. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Tomorrow night, Tea Time with Teresa, 8 o'clock, same station here, Strong Island TV. It's a very different show. She's very refined, soft spoken. Very well mannered, and then she comes here. And, I'm professional. <laughs> and she comes here and has fun. Here I let my hair down. For Bobby Inns, forty one in Zerolo. And they can pull it. Any last words? You're into the cemetery, right? Oh, I'm in. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm six feet in. Six feet in. <laughs> six feet in. So, start uh, time every week from now on has been uh, has been confirmed at nine fifteen. We are starting the show at 9.15. Yes, yeah, so everyone, please tune in every Look, Sunday at 9.15. He's opening up the door at 9.05. We've got 10 minutes. I will visit the cemetery. I will <laughs> uh, get here by 9.10. Okay. And uh, And we just have to have some consistency. We do. We do. It was we my, do. It was my that's, fault. That's why. I didn't want to interact with the show before us. I didn't want anybody walking in on their show. Once they're gone... We walk in. No, I don't have anything bad with Translation them. is, I needed more time to do my shit. Me. You. Yes. I had I, nothing to do with them. Why are you putting that out there? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not putting No, 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 no. No. I, I actually like the 925. I don't think we Listen, rush as the bottom much. line is, it's Bobby Lacera said 915, so it's 915. Yes. That's it. 915, 915 we're here. 15 every 11, uh, He gave us the extra 15 minutes because he likes our show, 11 yes. o'clock. Yeah. So for Bobby Lacera, the owner of uh, Strong Island TV... <laughs> Paradise Bobby, Studios, we're wrapping up, Bobby. Strongisland.com. For Board Up Extraordinaire, Richard Zarelli. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Grads. Good job, yourself. Rich. Good evening. Tea time with Teresa, whose Back nose looks greater. Up. It looks better than ever. My nose looks great. And find her at That's a thrift. My ass. Is find my her, ass okay? You look good lately. Find her at a thrift shop uh, around. A thrift store <laughs> <Yeah>. near you. <laughs> and for this gentleman, when you're going around this summer looking at garage sales and shit, don't forget, Teresa will be there. I will be Just there. looking for a bargain. I'll yes. be there. Do you find any sports stuff like baseball All cards? All the time. All right, find me some baseball cards and tell me how much it's going to cost me, and I'll buy them. My son wants baseball this cards. This guy had a whole book All right, of get me, baseball get, cards. Can you get next thrift shop? What, you you, what. Listen, make a, bu- a buck. If it's cost oh you five, God. I'll give you ten. Listen, uh, if I come across, and I'll let you know. Find me the baseball, uh, baseball Find me cards. Vita Blue. Michael's getting into baseball cards nice. a lot, and he wants to get some old timers and different. Nice. I got a bunch. Do you? Yeah, but you're that's not going to sell that, them. That's I want to buy. Have them. I want uh, Amazon prices for these cards. <laughs> for Teresa Plus Fallow, 10%. for Bobby Zarello, for Richard Zarelli, for Bobby Lacerra inside. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube, please people, please treat people with love and respect yes. and pay it forward. Pete, those people would be, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, be we, kind. We, be kind. Be rewind. Kind. We will be. be uh, please that? rewind. Be kind. Be rewind. Kind. The last two minutes, I start stuttering. We will be back next week. God bless. Good night. Blockbuster God, motto. God bless. Thank you. Ciao. Bye.
Good night. <laughs>